So we now have this concrete walk walkway which wasn't here in July last year when I last visited. You can see the monuments on the left to the fallen erected predominantly by their families I believe. So there's a number of cuirassier officers that have monuments here. But that's the that's the view of the ridge. So across there is La Belle Alliance, the white building. And that's the road that runs up alongside La Haye Saint, which is the other side of the mound there. So beyond this bit of the ridge, down there into the valley, would be where the French cavalry were hiding and looking to pounce out on the poor uh, unsuspecting infantrymen that were ordered forward along there by La Haye Saint. There's the roof of Hougoumont glinting in the sun. And you can just make out the wall to the garden, just there uh, under the trees. So I can walk through there and walk round it and up across the battlefield, which I'll be doing tomorrow. As we're not going to Brussels now, Mrs. Freeth's back's really playing her up, so she's not going to be able to do that, unfortunately. But it means you get another day. The benefit of obviously taking a tour of Waterloo is it's very compact compared to battlefields such as Ligny, which is strung out all the way from Bagnolet in the west all the way across to Tongri in the east. I mean, that's a fair old trek. Let's go get some more videos tomorrow.